if everything works out uh, eight weeks from today. 63 days. <laughs> 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 Not County, which, you get, which gives you, do you, have you counted January 20th? Not yeah. yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, what would, what will your focus be if you were to live in the White House? What would be the causes? Uh, many of the same things I'm doing now and certainly more. Um, I, as you know, I do a lot of international relief work and uh, I would not want to change what I do. Hopefully with the ability to do it from the position of First Lady, I would be able to bring even more reflection and, and uh, observance of things that are critical around the world. Um, I like what I do, and it's a part of my fiber, and so I wouldn't, I would never stop. I would just do more of it, and I enjoy it. And so I, and I also want to encourage people to, to get involved, and I don't mean you have to cross a pond to do it, but you, but, but go to the corner, to, you know, go to your neighborhood church, go to your community center, go, but get involved, because uh, I think a large part of what people tend to do is sit back and complain, and wait for the government to take you know, take over, and in my opinion, I think that it's much better to get involved on a community level and volunteer, be a part of it, and not, uh, the government shouldn't be responsible for that. So, I want people to really be encouraged, and I hope inspired to do, to, as my husband says, serve a cause greater than their own self-interest. Yeah. Mrs. Bush, what would you like your legacy to be as you head back to Texas? Well, legacy. The L word, <laughs> as your major father <laughs> calls it. The L word. <laughs> um, well, um, like Cindy, you know, I've had the opportunity really and the privilege to, to uh, represent the United States with programs like the ones that we're going to uh, talk with right now with World Vision and uh, with the One Campaign. I've been to Africa five times since George has been president. I've been to Afghanistan three times to uh, talk to women there and work with women. So I hope I'll be able to also continue that. The um, ways the United States can reach out around the world and then the specific ways uh, we can help people who are oppressed and not just by a regime like the Taliban but also by uh, malaria and by AIDS and by hunger and by all the other ways that, uh, that uh, people are oppressed around the world. Okay. Last question.